This is the shocking truth about why Will from Sheepdog Ministries has not been on my channel lately. What you are about to see here is shocking, especially at the end. May 13th, 2022, Will came on my channel as a guest and we spoke about several topics. About halfway through the live stream, we had a surprise guest, the Wadester. I was delighted to see Wade, as I have been hoping to have him on for quite some time. Will said that he contacted Wade many times about coming on as a guest on my channel. So when the Wadester first came on, this is what he said. Well, I want to, I want to preface this by saying, um, you know, I want to have a talk as long as the respect is mutual. I don't want this to be, sit there and just turn into a bunch of proof texting and, you know, to be more of a, just a gotcha session. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, we can go to scripture, obviously, and look at things. I understand and respect Wade's request that we are not to be combative or slamming each other over the head with the Bible, but rather just to sit and discuss things peacefully and productively as civil human beings. This is just common sense etiquette for a civil discussion. As the owner of the channel and the host of both of these guests, I agreed to that, and we entered into this discussion on that condition. We are to keep it peaceful, not argumentative, not combative, mutual respect. So with that agreement, we continued. You know what? I really, really appreciate um, your openness and you, you coming on here. Thank you, Wade. I appreciate that, and I appreciate your, um, your question. Wade asked me what brought me to Torah observance, so I told a little bit of my testimony. Then we went on to discuss whether or not I reject the deity of Christ, and then this happened. You know, I know yeah. Will does, so I, I don't just, reject. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I don't reject the deity of Christ. I just don't believe in the Trinity as it is taught today. It's unscriptural. Do so, you believe so that? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is co-equal, co-existent, eternally existent with God the Father? Well. If by co-equal, you mean on the same level as Father God, then no. He says he's not in John 14, 28, in John 20, 17. And he says the Father is greater than I. That's words in red. So he, he literally himself says he's not equal to the Father. And in Matthew 19, when the rich young ruler comes to him, he says, why are you calling me good? There's no one good but the Father. The only time that equals used is when he said he thought it not robbery, robbery to be equal with God. He absolutely knew that they were equals but the greater than spoken while christ was on earth in the flesh where he was submitting himself <clears throat> um you know as the god man on earth authoritarian authoritatively at that point in time he had made himself a servant and when he made those when he made that reference of he is greater than I. That's what he's referring to. It's not he, that he, you're okay. bringing doctrine into this. You're bringing doctrinal <laughs> interpretation. That's not scripture. It doesn't just, say just, that. just a minute. Just a minute. Like, okay. So when we started this, um, we all said that we don't want to get into like, I know like we don't want to get into just arguing about all this kind of, you know, um, I want to, I want to pull it back. I sense that this was going into a full blown head butting argument. I did my best to de-escalate in the most peaceful way possible. The last thing I want is for either one of my guests to get out of hand and cause the other to leave, especially Wade, since we've worked so hard to get him on. That would not be cool. So then we got into talking about the ministry of Jesus. He said, I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And in Matthew 10, you know, when he sent out the, the 12, to finally, you know, let him go, preach that gospel of the kingdom. He told him what? Matthew 10, 5, 6, go not in the way of the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because salvation was going to be come through, through the blessings, through Israel to the world. And Christ was the seed spoken of in Galatians, referring to, you know, Adam's seed. His ministry was solely to the people of Israel. He made an exception with the woman that had a demon-possessed daughter. And, 
you know, he tried to turn her away and she, he, then he saw her faith and he, you know, she's just talking about the crumbs from the master's table. And, and so he healed her, you know, but that was the exception to the rule, but his ministry was, he was bringing in the kingdom and eventually to bring in the new covenant, which by the way, is still future. And, you know, Here's the problem with that, Wade. You're basically saying that everything Jesus said and did prior to his crucifixion is worthless. It's not for us. None of that matters. See, this is why I didn't want to go live with you in particular. The first thing out of your, you're so combative and just, I'm trying to explain. I'm just pointing out what you just said. You you're, just you're said that his ministry was it, it, only for the Jews. Let me finish what I'm saying. I attempted again to moderate this and ensure that we honor the agreement. I want to be patient and give as much time as possible to Wade to say what he wants to say and then I'll say what I want to say and Will would also be given plenty of time to speak. In fact, I wanted this to be one of many times that we do this. We can make time to do several different sessions over the course of so many months, but we have to be patient. We have to let everyone have their say. But this is what happened. Jesus, he had no idea that, that, that the death of Christ on the cross and his resurrection was going to save the world from their sins to those that believed or whatever. And that's why it was kept secret. That's why he spoke in parables. That's why after he sent out those 12 to Israel and had him going out and gave them the gifts of the the sign gifts and everything because they didn't have the can of scripture and he was all the the healings the um the tongues the you know um how can you reconcile casting out the devils and everything how can you those reconcile were all the mission the, in, in matthew 28 jesus said in, in, in verse 18 and jesus came to them all okay. authority in heaven and well, earth. Uh, well, yeah. well, just 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 a, just a minute. Let, let's 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 have uh, Wade finish what he's saying. So once again, I pulled it back because I sensed that it was quickly escalating into argument mode, which we do not want. So I calmed it down to honor our agreement to keep it cool. Our plan is not to stir up any anger. The last thing we want is for things to escalate into a heated discussion and then for things to end on the wrong note. So, Wade continued. Believe the gospel, but the application, then you get into revelation and enduring and overcoming and all those things, you know. And so, it's all about right division and it clears up all the confusion all of the contradictions, because there are plenty of contradictions in the Bible, but contradictions are not mistakes. Contradiction just means two statements that oppose each other, but when in context, it becomes clear and discernible as, as to why, you know. Um, you know, and there's so many examples. As I've, as I've sat patiently for a minute. I want to have my two cents real quick. So I still don't see how we can get around the great commission in Matthew 28. He's talking to his 11 disciples and he says, go therefore make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and behold, I am with you always till the end of the age. So he, he was right there saying everything he taught them was the Torah. He says, Oh, I'm sorry. Everything. I don't mean to cut you off, but I, I'm, I meant to say, Chris, where I was going with, with that before I got into Acts 1 was he did tell him, but he said beginning in Jerusalem and power came on. So Wade is like, excuse me, Will, you're not going to derail the conversation this time. I'm talking to Christopher. Went to preach to the Jews later on in the book of Acts. Or Let me post something to you real quick, Wade. So this also is like, who is Israel in scripture? So Will went on a long discourse repeating the Israel's divorce and remarriage doctrine. By the way, I don't agree with this doctrine at all. In my estimation, it is loaded with numerous, yes, numerous errors and oversights. Whoever came up with that one seriously lacks critical thinking skills, but I'll address that in another video. So he sends the 10 northern tribes of Israel into dispersion, never to, never to come back, right? And then the house of Judah and then 
Benjamin is all we have left. They merge into one house, the Jews, right? They are still in covenant with God, but the 10 Northern tribes are gone. If we go back to the Torah. They're scattered. Yeah, never to return them. They, they <laughs> never came back. You need to study your prophecy about the stick of Ephraim and the stick of Judah when they're going to be put together again at one stick in the end and consolidated back together under one king, the Lord Jesus Christ. They are, and that hasn't happened yet. David, you're right, it hasn't happened yet. So here's the thing, though. You said, you said everything Jesus said was only to the house of Israel. Well, Romans 11 says you were grafted into the house of Israel when you no, called them a no. We'll go over that in a minute. Can I have my turn? I let you speak for a while and I didn't interrupt. Once again, I had to pull in the reins to honor our agreement to keep it cool and civil. I attempted to do this numerous times in the next few minutes. Now, uh, now I, have a, I have a question for Wade. All right. Let me, let me just respond real quickly to that. You were going on and on about all the divorce. I don't even want to hash out all that stuff. Bottom line is, is that we're saved because we are in Christ. We're in his body. We become flesh of his flesh and bone of his bones. Our conversations in heaven, our affections are heavenly. Mystery, body, Christ, heavenly. Okay. So, so what, what was Christ? Was Christ Israel? Was he not the line of the tribe of Judah? <laughs> I can see how this is. It, it, what are you grafted into? Could, could, could I not, ask? We're grafted into the root of David. Which is what? Christ. The, Judah is a tribe. Christ no, is No, no, no. Israel. See, see, you're incapable of having conversation. You're trying to argue and debate right now. I, no, uh, I'm I, trying to clarify. I, still, I, I would like to, I'd, I'd like to hear from Wade. Um, by the way, Wade, what you said that the bride is, is not the body of Christ, but rather the new Jerusalem. I find that to be very, very interesting that you said that. So once again, I pulled in the reins out of the realm of fighting and arguing to cool it off. So then, Will, who was live on TikTok simultaneously, muted himself and started talking to his TikTok audience in the midst of our discussion with Wade. Two problems. Number one, he ignored everything that we were talking about in the meantime. And number two, he was very distracting. Many were saved because so you got to understand that the that Israel, that is that is a big deal. The salvation in the name of Jesus. That's why it says in Acts 4.12, there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby, whereby we must be saved. Will unmuted himself. And of course, since he wasn't listening, he again started up with something way off topic. Watch how Wade responded to the off-topic question. It led to the stoning of Stephen, which is when they rejected the Holy Spirit. They'd already rejected the Son, which Jesus said, if you reject me, you reject the Father. And then they reject the Holy Spirit in Acts 8, when the stoning of Stephen, and that's when Israel fell. So I want to go back to you <coughs> that his name is Greek. Iasus is a Greek name. Jesus was not Greek. He spoke Aramaic. He was born in a Hebrew tribe. He didn't have a Greek name. Just uh, in my in my my stand on. So obviously, at this point, Will is not even listening to the conversation. Off topic. Again, I'm trying to honor our agreement to keep things from being combative. I pull it back once again. So, what about Romans three thirty one? See, this is what I didn't want to do is sit here and... No, I'm, you know, I'm asking, I, you're I, using I, Paul to say that we don't have to follow the laws. So I'm I'm asking you how you reconcile these verses. Romans 3.31, do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means, on the contrary, we uphold the law. Do you think that was just a suggestion from Paul? It says establish the law, first of all. It okay. doesn't matter, same word. Here's okay, what... So here's, here's I try again to pull in the reins and keep it peaceful, stay on topic. To get through Daniel's 70th week. Um, so do you think, like, I, I, for lack of a better term, mainstream Christians, let's just say anybody who truly believes in Jesus, do you think they'll just be the least in the kingdom? Is do that what you believe? Do you think they'll just be the least in the kingdom? Who? Christians who just believe and then don't obey the commandments. 
What are you talking about? I'm talking about Matthew 5. <laughs> I don't think you're actually listening to what we're talking about here. No, I am. It just doesn't make any I'm a member of the body of Christ. Both of those programs, they all become subject then and gathered unto the Lord Jesus Christ, which has been God's plan all along from the very beginning of before You're time. saying there's, there's two different standards for God's people, though. I don't understand. You're, you're, I, I, I understand what Wade is saying. Um, we started talking about Acts chapter 15, which is awesome. Because I wanted to talk to Wade about Acts chapter 15 for a while. But Will muted himself again, ignored us, and once again became a distraction. The dating in my Schofield Bible is not inspired, inerrant, and infallible. But according <laughs> to the Schofield, it puts the Jerusalem Council at AD 46, which would be 12 years before Galatians which is 8058 yeah and I, I i would i would question i'm not saying it's wrong but i would question the dating of paul's conversion as well in the school field bible I'm not saying it's wrong i would just say i'd question that uh, everything I, everything else i've ever read said that it was later a whole lot later than that but um so in acts chapter 15 verse 1 now, you read from the King James, right? Yeah. Okay. So Acts chapter 15, verse 1 sounds a whole lot like, I, I can't see it being anything different than Galatians 2. In Galatians 2, he says he goes up to Jerusalem. All right. So in 51, certain men which came down from Judea, taught the brethren and said, except you be circumcised, the man of Moses cannot be saved. Um, actually, let me check something here, because I know that... Will, ignoring us and distracting everyone, continues. Bent, but uh, so in Acts chapter 15, yeah, in certain men which came down from Judea, taught the brethren and said, except ye be circumcised after, and continues, Barnabas and certain other men, there we go, and certain other men, or certain other of them, should go up to Jerusalem. So that would, that would cover Titus right there in verse 2. And continues. In the first two verses of Acts chapter 15, you have well, verse 1, okay, certain... And continues. Would it be... Would it be fair to say that Paul escalated the issue? And continues. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed, as we said before, so say I now again. And continues. Oh, in verse 8. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So it's Finally, after nearly 10 minutes of this, yes, 10 minutes, Will unmuted himself and spoke up. But of course, since he ignored our conversation again, he didn't know what we were talking about. So he butted in our conversation about Acts chapter 15 with another off-topic question. You know, which is absurd. You know, and Paul Wait, do you think the Torah is the word of God? Do you think God gave the Torah? Of course he did. And he also so, gave, gave the uh, the other 59 <clears throat> books in the canon of Scripture. <laughs> well, that would mean that God contradicted himself and changed. And per Malachi 3, 6, God doesn't change. Oh. If Paul went out preaching that they didn't have to follow the laws and the commandment, per Scripture, per Deuteronomy 13, that makes him a false prophet. There's a, there's a lot more I want to talk about in regards to Acts 15. Being as polite as possible, I reminded Will that we are actually on another topic, and I'm in the middle of going through Acts chapter 15. Change, but his administration and dealings with man changes from time to time, but the very essence so and nature... Why would God give us a test to test...
profits and then completely go back on that without ever telling us. Give me, give me a minute. I need, I need to refill my coffee. I don't blame Wade for just walking away and taking a break. In the meantime, I thought I'd take the opportunity to remind Will that I'm in the middle of talking about Acts chapter 15, and I would like to continue. There's a lot I want to get to in Acts 15. I want to get through Acts 15 if we can. Then I kindly asked Will to turn off his camera next time he is talking to others so that we don't get distracted. When you're talking, uh, when, you got, when you're on mute, could you, would it be possible, could you please also turn off the camera as well because it's, it's actually pretty distracting for people? So while I was talking about Acts chapter 15, Will left for a few minutes and then came back. Um, that are not under the law, under grace. And, you know, Paul stood up to him about it. And then they went and hashed it out at the Jerusalem Council. And essentially, you know... Okay. They essentially came to the agreement that you know of in in that passage or whatever it's sort of <laughs> i mean basically they suggested you know okay so they don't have to keep the law but they need to at least keep these four things that know, are in with the uh blood and the strangled and the idols and fornication um you know, and that, that was. Let me ask you one question. If that was the only four things that the council decided they needed to do, why did Paul bring up so much extra stuff in Galatians 5? That was far and beyond what what the Jerusalem council was talking about. What are you talking about? Galatians 5. So here, let me, I'll pull it up and read it for you. I don't want to get too far ahead here. I want to. Yeah, let's let us finish here and. Well, you're just saying they only they decided that only these four things are done, right? But but it Paul says in Galatians five, yeah, you know now the works of the flesh are evident: sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery. They didn't bring up sorcery, eh, enmity. They didn't bring up that. They didn't bring up strife or jealousy. They didn't bring up fits of anger or rivalries. They didn't bring up dissensions or divisions or envy or drunkenness. They did bring up orgies in the Jerusalem council. But he says these are the people that will not inherit the kingdom of God in Galatians 5. That's that's way more than discussed in Acts 15 at the Jerusalem. You're getting us off topic, and I'm more than happy to. Was it off topic? How? You're saying they decided only these four because, things are fine. Because you are, You're using Paul to justify this, and Paul, even in his own letters, has so listen, much more to say listen. about it. You're obviously incapable of having a discussion without arguing. No, I want to have a conversation that makes sense. And right now, that is not what I'm having. I have a passage with Christopher right now. I, I No, this is completely in line. You said they, by your own words, we're talking about Acts 15. They came to this with Paul. They came to this conclusion with Paul. Galatians was written after that. We've already talked about this. So why does Paul add all these things from the law? That they have to do in order to inherit the kingdom he of God. He is not teaching the law. Literally in everything God. in this, in Galatians 19 through 22, that is all the Torah. Every single one of those is in the Torah. You're not, you don't, un, you don't understand that. that Make me that understand because I don't get it. See, I'm done with you. I'm trying to answer you. You keep interrupting me. You're, you I haven't even been able to talk, me. Wade. You're just pandering over me every time I speak. Because Let me have a chance. And how about you address me. my question instead of saying, oh, you're interrupting me. Because no. you're angry. But yeah, I am getting angry because you're right. that's why, that's brushing why me aside. That's why you an angry out because you're always just so angry about everything. What are you doing? You're getting angry. Don't fight anger with anger. That's in Second Peter, right? You're, you're Paul okay. into a, a, a peaceful conversation that we're having over I here. I want to have a peaceful conversation that makes sense, and you're not addressing my questions. You're brushing them aside. 
Okay, let's let's take this. Let's let's talk about Acts chapter fifteen. We're on Acts chapter fifteen right now. For the umpteenth time, I had to pull in the reins. I want to keep it cool because that was our agreement. And besides, I want this to be the first of many times we sit down together. And it's just common sense etiquette for a civil discussion. Keep it cool. It's taking a long time for me to say what I want to say about Acts chapter 15. And it would be good if Will respected that. So, um, okay, so it literally says this. Brothers, you know that in the early days God made the choice among you that by my mouth should the Gentiles hear the word of the gospel and believe. That is Peter talking, Acts 15, 7. Are you even listening to what we're t we've just been spending the last five you minutes? You just said that Peter we've been, never been talking about him. that verse for five minutes. You just said that Peter was never called the apostle to the Gentiles, and it's right there. We've been talking about that very verse for the last five minutes, and you're not even listening. Give me something worth listening to. Okay, so um, this is why I've never wanted to have a discussion with you. Because so, because I'm pointing out that your doctrine makes no sense. No, because you act like a twelve year old and you don't listen. Really, I'm not the one walking around calling people angry elves. I'm not. I haven't. I haven't said a mean thing to you this entire time. I don't You're care. The one you that's name calling. You're the twelve year old. You think, <laughs> and no, no, no I, but again, you say Israel, they weren't teaching the Torah. Just, Acts, Acts no, fifteen, it's, they it's, are told they rain told rain. Gentiles to do four things in Acts fifteen. Okay, they said refrain from idols, Leviticus twenty six one. They said refrain, re, uh, abstain from sexual immorality, Leviticus eighteen. Re, abstain from eating things strangled, Leviticus seventeen thirteen. Abstain from blood leviticus 17 14 that is the torah then after this after acts 15 in galatians paul is talking about who will inherit the kingdom of god and he says these people he brings up way more way more than what they said in acts 15 he said jealousy numbers 15 25 he said wrath Numbers 153, dissension, Leviticus okay. 19, 18, drunkenness, Deuteronomy 21, 20, adultery, Deuteronomy 5. That's what I thought. That is not how to treat another guest. Imagine if you invited two honored guests to your place. The host wants both of them there. And the agreement is, you know, we're not to get argumentative, we're not to get combative, and one guest attacks and yells at the other guest until he leaves. That is not the Torah way. In fact, Wade was more Torah observant here in his behavior than Will was. It's about treating each other reasonably and respectfully. Let me know what you think in the comment section.